what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel welcome back to terabyte reacts you already know we out here on that hero status let's get it anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in once again today we're going to be checking out a couple of episodes of my hero academia you guys have not checked out the movie reaction the first movie two heroes make sure you go ahead and check out that reaction man that was a very lit movie okay so getting back in the meat of things into the main story um of the series we left off with young bakugo <laughs> right questioning or challenging midoriya izuko deku himself right to a fight because he has always been suspicious of deku receiving some sort of power from all might he doesn't know what it is but he he figured out since as somebody's out there that's um that's able to manipulate quirks it's not so bad to think that somebody's able to pass on their own quirk so um he challenged he said he was basically saying that um you and me has always wanted to be like all might so he wants to test his strength against Deku, really, to be honest. But Deku doesn't have full control of the quirk yet. So, you know, I think I would rather see them fight at full strength. At full strength, you know, like a Naruto versus Sasuke kind of thing. At full strength. Even though we all know, as a lot of people want to try to say Sasuke was better, um, Naruto was severely weakened during the fight the last fight against sasuke you know but a lot of people they won't acknowledge that um, naruto was out there fighting way before sasuke came on the scene to help with the war we know this okay so the fact that the fight ended on in somewhat even terms you know um it goes to show you how strong naruto really was at the end of shippuden but that's neither here nor there um as i said i would rather them wait till deku has mastered his quirk and also when bakugo has mastered his, his quirk because right now i think bakugo has a better hold on his quirk over deku um mastering um one for all so Let's go check this out. Episode 61. Um, and let's see how this turns out. Let's jump into it. And I will see you guys for the review. All right. So we have started season four. I was absolutely wrong the last time I was like, we're supposed to be in season four by now. We were not. So. Just watched um, episode 64 was the first episode of season four. So let's go how they wrapped up season three with introducing us to the big three. After the whole debacle, we saw the fight between Deku and Bakugo. So now Bakugo knows the secret. He knows that Deku got all for um, one for all from All Might. So um, and their relationship. I think is going to build up from here. So now as all might cause it now, they're true rivals. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, um, the situation. I know I do this a lot, but whatever, you're just going to have to deal with it. Um, because there's so many different aspects to Naruto, you know, that I think it doesn't get a lot of praise for, you know what I'm saying? But there's a lot of stuff that you see in other animes that you can really pick out of Naruto and be like, yeah, that was in Naruto those parallels you know what i'm saying so it's kind of like naruto and sasuke becoming true rivals after that last fight you know what i'm saying like they're never going to stop competing against each other but now they understand that they are really friends you know what i'm saying so um bakugo and deku just came to an understanding you get what i'm saying because it's the first time he really outpoured his, his emotions um bakugo is first time i mean i've seen him truly truly 
poured out his emotions, you know what I'm saying, um, on a truth basis, you know what I'm saying, it's, it was always like these foreshadowing things that you would see him do based on his actions, but it was the first time, like, through his mouth vocally saying these things um, from us understanding. I didn't even know that there were guilt that he was holding on to because of what happened with All for One, with All Might, with him blaming himself and saying, you know, um, he was carrying around the guilt because he thought All Might had to use up all his power to defeat a villain that, and he couldn't help. You know what I'm saying? So that was pretty dope. That was pretty dope. So now, you know, they're going to compete. They're going to always be trying to top each other. Um, I don't know where this um, puts Todoroki. I don't know. But hopefully, you know what I'm saying, hopefully he remains. They haven't really been giving him any of the stop spotlight lately. It's more of like here and there. He'll say something here and there, but he hasn't really been getting a lot of screen time. So I'm wondering that if they're trying to kind of push him to the side a little bit as a side character in the show. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I don't know if I would agree with that because I think he's a very strong character that they've built up. So for them to, or maybe it's, maybe it's just because yeah, he was featured a lot in the last arc, to be honest, though the provisional license arc he was featured a lot, so let's not, I'm not going to jump to that yet, but um, it's just that in these last, probably like five or six episodes, he was not really featured that much ever since the provisional license exam was over, so it was like, okay, they need to get their license, they feel like they're going to be left behind, at least he does, so um, we've met the big three, don't know what two of them do, um, but we know what one of them doing is very interesting is at, at first anybody would would think that he has two quirks but it's actually just one you know so he explained it i'm going to have to look over that again to kind of understand you know just just hearing him say it one time is not it's not good enough for me to understand exactly what it what his quirk does so i'm going to go back and ch and watch that scene again where he's explaining his quirk so I can understand a little bit better because I feel like he's going to be a big part of things to come. Also, we find out who um, All Might's, um, who All Might's psychic was because I, I never even thought of that, that he had a psychic at one point. Didn't even know that he started an agency. Like, there's a lot of things that's, that are being filled in for me uh, so I'm just taking in the information and just trying to understand, like, and not trying to rush the anime too much. You know what I'm saying? To rush. Oh, oh, oh I want to know. I want to know. Yes, I do want to know, but I also want them to take their time and build up this story because you don't want it. You do not want my hero academia to become Dragon Ball Z. I don't want to see not Dragon Ball Z, but Dragon Ball overall. You know what I'm saying? You do not want it to come from this anime that was so rich in story to becoming just about fights. I don't want that for My Hero Academia. And they're doing an incredible job right now. You know what I'm saying? The writer of the story, of course, from the manga, he's doing an incredible job up to now. So I hopefully this continues. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to see them even becoming adults, if, if possible, to see them as adults doing hero stuff. That would be great. And that's the reason why, you know, one of the reasons why I have this picture of all of 1A, Class 1A, um, as my background is because all of these characters are interesting. Every single one of them are interesting, and I'm interested to know where each of them go. Of course, we know that Deku is the main character of the story, okay? Um, but every single character that I've met so far are so interesting. You want to know more about them. Even uh, Aoma, uh, Aoyama, <laughs> the laser laser naval guy has become interesting over the last, um, the, at the provisional license um, exam. He's become a lot more interesting to me because I'm like, okay, he's not just so one dimensional. It's in my opinion, still a shitty quirk, but <laughs> he's, I think he could make 
do something really good with that quirk and i'm looking forward to it hopefully learn how to do something else with the beam and it's not just a straight beam out of the belly you know what i'm saying maybe he can um maybe learn how to to control it so that he can maybe cover himself with laser or something you know what i'm saying like in my opinion it's still it's kind of a shitty quirk I think he has the least, my that's my least favorite quirk so far of all the quirks, including villains, that I've heard of so far. So, I'm still looking forward to seeing. He's, he's become interesting because of his backstory um, and all of that stuff that they showed in um, the provisional license exam. So, as I said, man, all of them are interesting. If you, if you had seen... My movie reaction, you see that a lot of them got a lot of time to shine. Um, and I'm all for that. You know, Sugar Rush guy, um, love him. Even the dude that can and control animals, love him. You know what I'm saying? I love what they could do and they could expand on these characters. It's just that it's hard as a writer to have all these characters be featured all the time. That like that's, You get what I'm saying? Like, you can't do that. You know, a lot of people you know, are really, like, sour about what happened with Naruto, where a lot of these characters get left behind, you know what I'm saying, from the original nine, you know what I'm saying, it's probably around, maybe four of them really got time to shine, you know, past original Naruto, which is, you know what I'm saying, in Shippuden, all these characters basically get left behind, you know, it was basically Naruto, Sasuke, um, Sakura, um, Neji, I want to say, Neji got a lot of shine, Hinata got a lot of shine, uh, got the moments to shine, I should say, but there's others that was just left behind, especially Rock Lee, which is one of the things that, I mean, I'm a little bit sour about Rock Lee, because Rock Lee was a very strong character, um, that completely, that kind of completely got pushed to the back of the anime, um, but you also got to consider the fact that there's no way you can continue the story just writing about all these characters um, all the time. You get what I'm saying? Not everybody is 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 Oda out here, okay? That writes One Piece. Not everybody is Oda, okay? Oda is just an he's just an incredible writer, man, and I have to give him props for that because he's one of those dudes that just when you think you forgot about a character, boom, they just pop right back up into the story. He's just that good. You know what I'm saying? And also, that's the reason why One Piece will probably never end. <laughs> but here we are. You know, so thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. That's pretty much all I have to say. Um, it's just great, man. So stay on that hero status as always. And I will get back with you guys later. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. And subscribe if you're new. We out here, man. Peace.